Hello folks, it's Arch here with some more Railway Empire. Today we're going to tackle one of the scenarios and the, what I'm thinking of doing is the uh, early one on the East Coast, Metropolis, starting in 1830. Uh, this one is all about growing New York, uh, as well as providing New York with alcohol and clothing and growing it to a, to a fairly, fairly big size. So uh, we'll get started on this one. It's one I've played through before, completed as engineer. Hopefully be able to improve on that uh, this time around. So let's see uh, what it looks like on setup. We start with a million. Uh, in New York City, uh, two competitors. We have normal level AI, realistic rail network, and normal pause mode. Strong leadership and discipline are the path to victory. Hey, Wash, I did an evaluation of the contenders and I am and I the best think choice. for this one, I may try it with Roger Smythe, uh, the 5% higher freight prices could be very useful uh, because we will be shipping a lot of freight here Let's as part go. of the uh, alcohol or dress goals or by growing New York I supplied it with uh, raw materials and uh, finished products so figure his little bonus there lends in quite nicely so we'll use Roger today and we'll see how we get along. The railroad is a magnificent invention that will revolutionize okay, so we start in New York which has a lumber industry the and the furniture making industry. Take hours. That's why I'm we have Baltimore just down here, and Baltimore at the start does have a spare industry slot, which I like to put a meat industry in, because we have a cattle ranch nearby, just over here, and the meat will help New York grow. So we'll go, go ahead and put a train station down in Baltimore. One thing I'm going to do is just run a, a track out this way. Just like that. Before moving on to taking it across the river and on to New York. Just trying to balance the uh, the inclines with the excessive cost. side of the grid. We'll just link it on that side and uh, it will slow it down because we have one train on this span but that's fine. Now we're going to need a bond, that's fine. We'll issue two bonds straight away. We can complete that track and get our signals set up. supply tower because we're using the very early trains. So we'll put one just there. So we'll start with four, two from each side. And then we shall uh, grab this cattle breeding
we shall bring this into Baltimore. set him to only leave when he's got a full load. Then we'll have two trains on this route for the time being. Okay, so the only thing to do now is wait until our money starts to build up from these initial trains. Just planning ahead a little bit. Uh, what we want to do next is grab this logs, uh, this lumber here to feed the two industries in New York and then grab Albany with its beer ship it into New York which will help New York's growth and then think about running this wheat perhaps through this valley here into Albany once that's done we want to look at grabbing Syracuse and what we want to do in the long run is have a weaving factory in Syracuse to make use of this cotton to produce the cloth and then that cloth will be shipped into Albany and once Albany grows we'll get a dressmaking factory in Albany and that will ship the dress into New York the alcohol we want to grab from either Pittsburgh when that grows or Buffalo we have the sugar here and there's fruit here and these can either come down that way or down this way and then into New York and that will supply the alcohol which is attached just there so there's the clothing one and there's the alcohol and as you can see we also have to grow in New York to a considerable size okay so we've got quite a bit of cash on hand now so the next thing we're going to do, uh, going to do is grab these uh, grab these logs just have the one train for now here and we'll set him to leave when fully loaded and not before so that's that uh, once we get uh, over a hundred thousand we'll think about linking Albany up to New York At some point as well we want to grab this milk here and probably this uh, vegetables and bring these both to New York just increase the speed a bit okay so we can now afford the no we can't, thanks to the interest. We could have afforded there the uh, the bonds. We will grab this uh, covered freight car tech to increase our freight uh, prices by 8%. And we'll also grab that for the extra passengers. Okay, let's get that station set up in Albany. some point we will upgrade this to a four platform station but for now two is more than enough we should bring him into platform three. 
once we have enough, 74,000, so we'll just let the clock run by. Are you looking to play with the big boys? So what now? Okay, so we have a stoker to increase our speed. We will get the security guard for the increased freight prices. And we will assign him to... We'll go for that one, that's uh, quite profitable, so we can squeeze a bit more out of that, it's always good. And this train, we'll get that stoker, increased speed. So crank up the speed once again. So it was around 74,000 for that line. So to double it up, we're going to need about 130, 140. So we'll just let the time tick by for a while. We'll put the liability, uh, reliability guy there. Not so worried about the auction prices at the minute. can go on one of these lines. Go on that one. Slow the speed down. Okay, so now we can purchase that line and set up a second second track. Just have him merge before the bridge to save a little bit of money. Put these signals in place. And we get our supply tower. And then set up our line. There we go. Cash build up and copy that train. And then there's a reverse line. Let's wait for the money to accumulate once again. In fact, while we're doing that, we'll spend our R&D. Increased mail profits by 10%. That'll do nicely. Okay, so there's the train. Further mail price increase. There we go, increase the speed again. And now we can clone him. Okay, so the next thing we want to get is a uh, maintenance a maintenance ship in Baltimore, which we can now afford. And then the next task I want to do is connect this wheat to Albany. Now we have two options for the, the route that we want to take. The first choice is to run parallel between these, these two hills here through this valley and then swing in from the west. But what we can do is come down this way, just skirt along this coastline here and in from the east. Now in my experience it's usually cheaper to head through the valley. And if you lay the track right you can avoid excessive inclines. For the most part and keep your cost down. I 
Okay, he'll have to share that platform there. That's that's uh, fine. But like I said, at some point we will upgrade this to a four platform, and then we can redo our tracks going in at that point. So that was uh, ninety-five thousand. So we want at least one seventy really before we can double track it. Now the money's starting to roll in a little better. New York is also growing, which is uh, good to see. Increased passenger uh, fares, that's fine. Again, we'll assign him to a train on this route. I think we'll go for that one, because he's full of passengers. So, we've got there. speed, yep. Which will also help the uh, passenger fares. Okay, so let's now double this track. There we go, and then we'll do our signaling. advance the time till we get enough for the supply tower, get that set in place. There we go. And then we can start setting up the train line itself. One day I might ask you for a small favor, but that day may never come. Increased number of passengers will have that. And now let's uh, add our locomotives to this line. And we will have three for the time being. Now the next port of call will be Syracuse. Now the trouble here is Albany, Albany rather, and Syracuse both produce beer. So they won't help one another grow. But once we've gone to Syracuse, we can then swing down to Buffalo, which has meat. So that can help Syracuse grow. However, in my experience with this uh, mission, getting Albany to a size that will uh, allow a second industry for the dressmaking is never a big problem. Now we have a bandit available. For thirty thousand, so let's uh, let's steal some steal some mail. Okay, what I want to do next before I start linking up the Syracuse is uh, expand the station size in Albany and add a maintenance shed. So we can get the maintenance building now to help keep everything running smoothly. Increase locomotive speed. Yep. So I think, yep, you can go on that route, why not? No, 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 wrong button. have enough to also expand our station. So now we can change this track's platform to platform. I think we've got to platform four. I 
should have waited till that train departed, but never mind. So now it's just dropped straight back to Collins. Remember, you reap what you sow. And then our line to Syracuse can occupy that button. I think we'll get the jumbo. Oh, this new locomotive looks adventurous. And these lines, we shall upgrade them all. Okay, so we'll let our money tick up, head to Syracuse and get a station there and then link Syracuse into our network. Get a small state uh, sorry, the normal size station for the time being. for the track there. I have said increase on freight price. He already has a security guard. So I think we shall uh, put him on the Castle run. Increased uh, reliability. He can hop onto this one if I don't get there. Go. Good is your new record anyway. What can I do if your employees can't resist my candy? Fantastic. The one thing I don't like about them stealing your staff, apart from the fact that they've just stolen your staff, is I don't believe there's any feedback as to what staff they've just stolen. Perhaps something to consider adding in in the future. So Alban is expanded. Now unfortunately we don't have the money, we're not even close to having the money to install a dressmaking factory. Can't afford to place a bid on that. But now I can. 
and then wait for 50, 51 I think it is, and clone our train. Say, are you a bit slow? I have already fed. There we go. Now. Syracuse, if I can get to Buffalo pretty quick. Hmm, I'd still rather wait until I can afford the, at least at the regular size station. Like now. Oh, uh, more reliability, yes please. I want to get in here quick to help Syracuse just pip over the 40,000 mark and then encourage it to get the, uh, the cloth, the weavers factory. Because if we can get producing bolts of cloth in Syracuse, then the AI will be more inclined to put a dressmaking factory into Albany. I mean, they may do it anyway, but uh, we are relying on luck, and I'd rather improve our odds as best we can. Okay, that's just checking where most of our passengers are, and it's on these lines here, so we'll put our new conductor onto one of these. Ah, see, yes, we got lucky. The AI put a dressmaking factory in there anyway, so that's very good. Excellent. But we still want to link up Buffalo anyway. Because as we said in the start, Buffalo or Pittsburgh will be our alcohol producer that we feed into New York. So there's our Buffalo to Syracuse line now set up. Increase our speed until we can clone him. I'm amazed by the number of trains you already have in operation. That was really fast. I'll check our staff just after I've Got this train up and running. There we go. So we got a stoker for increased reliability. And a professor who will take away 80 innovation points but give us 96,000. I'm not prepared to make that trade off. Personally, I prefer the, uh, the innovation points. We'll grab the conductor. If we just slow the game down for a second, we have a conductor and a stoker. I think they can go on this train here. I also need to swap the amount of the job. Okay, that's excellent. Just planning where I'll bring the alcohol from, and I think it's going to come from Buffalo. So if I grab the fruit here, 
swing around his station there and into Buffalo. And then we have the sugar there already. And then the alcohol line can just come through this valley across the river, follow these tracks across the river again, and then into New York. Let's see how we're doing on our tasks. So we have a year and a half ish to get our population up to 80,000, that shouldn't be a problem. Then we need to start um, thinking about getting our clothing and alcohol set up. Excellent. Ah, 400,000, but what I can do. Oh, we're nearly at 400, there we go. Uh, Weed and factory. Yes, that's uh, depleted our account, but that will pay for itself. So now we can get our station here. We can start running in the cloth, the cotton. Just increase the speed a little. Are especially fast and popular with affluent travelers. And since there are more and more of them, it's good that you operate so many of these trains. Okay, we need a supply tower. Won't use a lot, but... Are you happy? I got an article in the newspaper. For now, we'll just have the one train. What staff do we have here? We have... Two security guards, one of which is going to go on this train, and another of which will go on one of these trains. Okay, so we're now getting our cotton brought in. Oops. So we've got our cotton coming in. This will start shipping the cloth to Albany. I'll wait for that train to depart and then I'm going to rearrange this track to come into track platform 3. So there's no interruption on the station turnarounds. I want to get the museum in New York to help with its growth. That costs 200,000, so we'll just uh, increase the speed for a couple of minutes. There we go. lowers the demand threshold in terms of growth so that will help New York grow and then what I want to do is get a distillery in Buffalo once it expands in size which shouldn't take long link up the fruit and the sugar and then lay the track from Buffalo through to New York and that will transport the alcohol to New York to meet one of the objectives now I am curious as to whether any dresses have yet been nope no uh, no clothing has yet been shipped to New York now we have no looks like no utilization yet no raw materials. So what I may consider doing is adding cloning these trains so now there's six running that route once we have the money, 
supply this green patch at the next level. You have a very strong supply. And that way we can produce more cloth and also earn ourselves some more money. So that, that's $400,000 to expand that. I'm hoping soon to start to see dresses pouring out of Albany to New York. Okay. We have that uh, increased freight prices by 8%. Okay, so we have a problem here. Did I not set this? Ah, uh, okay, right, no problem. She didn't put my interim signals in, so there were too many trains on that route for a moment. But now we have extra blocks, they can all move down. Crisis averted. Right, we are still not shipping much cloth out. So. Yes, I definitely think we want to look at expanding that business so. I'll increase the speed. There we go. So now he produces 3.2 units of cloth a week. Increased passenger price. So he can go on to the New York Baltimore line. No, he can't. He got that line. So we have a connection bonus for Washington. It's worth reconsidering that decision. Are you happy? I got you an article in the newspaper. So Buffalo is on the verge of expansion. Let's see how much the distillery costs. Five hundred thousand. Okay. So what we may have to do is repay one of our bonds and issue another bond straight away. So now we have the capital to put down our distillery. Like so. can also do then is grab a small station room for more grab a supply tower it's so close we'll only have the one locomotive and then we want to get our fruit okay so I think we're gonna be better off just hopping straight over this line here There we go. Right, 
No, we'll go the whole way. I was considering just leaving it before the bridge, but we'll take it the whole way. And I'll go for two supply towers. start with I shall run four trains. Maintenance building here now. What I also want to do. Is to prevent these. From shipping the. In fact that's, yes that's a very good idea. Restrict them from shipping the alcohol. And cloth. It's thanks to you that New York has become more than just a little fishing village. You could almost say that the city never sleeps. Obviously, we want this cloth to be taken down here more than anything. That's what we will do as well. Prevent them from moving the dresses back to Syracuse. And encourage them to ship the cloth. So we'll do this for all of them. But could it be that you just placed a bid? There we go. Okay, we'll uh, end this episode here and pick it up in a part two because it's dragged on for about 45 minutes now. And in part two, we're going to focus on shipping the alcohol and the clothing into New York to meet that objective. So I'll hopefully see you in part two guys. Thanks for watching this uh, first part of this episode. I think we're going to be doing very well so far. The money's very healthy now. We're well placed with our alcohol business and clothing. So I think we should be on track for a winner this time. So I'll see you in part two guys. Bye bye.